City of Perth offices want the Wellington Street building added to the Council's Register of Places of Cultural Heritage Significance. A report to councillors said the 1903-built hotel was one of Perth's last remaining gold rush era coffee palaces and was considered rare. The recommendation was based on the findings of three separate heritage assessments. The Council's Planning Committee will vote on Tuesday whether to support the listing aside with the Lord Mayor's husband, Joe Scafidi. Mr Scafidi is the director of Central City, a company that owns Grand Central Hotel, which had a makeover this year and was renamed Akara Hotel. In a letter to the City of Perth, Mr Scafidi objected to the proposal. He said he planned to lodge a development application for the total redevelopment of the property. In the very short term, we do not believe it should be, nor is it worthy, to be placed on the City of Perth Register of Cultural Heritage Significance. He wrote, Furthermore, we believe that the building does not add any value to street or landscape appeal to the Perth. Central Business District a wider community in its current configuration estate. Mr and Mrs Scafidi are two of Central City's five shareholders. The other shareholders include Mr Scafidi's son, Anthony, the couple's joint company Lisado Investments, and Montevento Holdings, a company controlled by Mr Scafidi's brother, Gino. The council this week would not respond to questions about whether the proposed listing would protect the building from demolition. According to its website, the council may consider demolition of a heritage property if the proposed redevelopment proved more worthwhile or provided a greater contribution to the city. Mrs Scafidi said, I have not objected in any way about this matter nor have I individually expressed any opinion about this matter and will have to declare a financial interest on it anyway. The matter is proceeding. A council spokesman said the administration's view was reflected in the recommendation to the committee. Mr Scafidi was contacted for comment. Originally published as Scafidi hits back over heritage by